Welcome back to 23 News. Before we get started, I want to wish you guys another happy Veterans Day and to thank all of you who have served for our country. Today left you with a pretty nice day. A big reason for that, our southerly winds really helped temperatures warm up from this morning. Still right now, we're still seeing a southeasterly wind, about 7 to 10 miles per hour, 13 miles per hour over in Freeport and 12 in Monroe. Now these southerly winds have helped us quite a bit, especially just 24 short hours ago. Well, we are 15 degrees warmer, and I can say I am happy about it because last night I was a bit chilly as I was heading off to bed. Current temperature wise, 43 degrees here in Rockford, 43 up in Janesville, pretty much seeing the lower 40s across the board. Dew points, though, they're still on the very dry side, seeing only 32 degrees here in Rockford, 28 up in, in Janesville. That's why I am not overly impressed by our rain chances you might have saw earlier on our radar. I think any of that will be dried up as it falls through the atmosphere. But what I am confident in, that is cloud cover staking with us throughout the entirety of the night tonight. Now those southerly winds, in addition to this cloud cover, it's going to keep us fairly warm, seeing lows right around 38, 39 degrees. And with that, our blanket forecast, instead of having three banquets like last night, I'd say you really only need two tonight as you're heading off to bed. I know I like to double up on blankets and like to feel really warm. And speaking of warm, tomorrow's going to be even warmer as we're going to have a pretty strong southwesterly wind at about 26 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts. Now this is really going to help us get just that much warmer. In addition to the abundance of sun Sunshine we'll be seeing tomorrow afternoon. Highs look to be towards the 60 degree mark. Yes, I said 60, even though it is November. Still, 60s are absolutely achievable this time of year. Sunday night into Monday morning, going to be a bit on the chilly side with lows in the mid 30s. Still not as bad as what we saw last night, but still. But then as we head into Monday, well, those winds do shift from the northwest, but they're actually not going to do all that much to our temperatures as we remain bountiful in our sunshine. When it comes to rain, I don't expect any whatsoever. So if you want to go get your car washed, that would be a great time to do so as you'll really get a lot of bang for your buck. The reason why we're staying so warm, well, that is because high pressure off to our west is making its way over. This is a ridge, so it's high pressure, and it creates a bit of a dome over us, giving us a lot of heat and a little bit more of those southerly winds. So when it comes to our temperatures, this high pressure, also known as blocking since it is sustained, reaching the 60 degree mark multiple days out of the week. Tuesday see a high of 60 degrees with sunny skies. Wednesday see a high of 63 degrees with sunnier skies. Thursday though, we finally start to see low pressure make its way back into the area, giving us a bit of a cool off on Friday. In addition, the only rain chances, that's gonna be Thursday night into Friday morning. That is the only rain chances in our forecast. So I'm excited for all the sunshine we're gonna be having here. Yeah, me too, I can't. Yeah, always nice when you don't have rain. I mean, obviously we did yes. need some rain in the summer, but now looking forward to yeah. what was it like Tuesday night into Wednesday where it's like 16 to 39. Oh boy. Lovely. <laughs> no, thanks so much, DJ. Coming up in sports, high school football.